Hello. Oh, you're about to mad. Hello, everybody. And we're going back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two. And I've already eaten Vector's corpse. And welcome back to Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Last time, it someone was, died. It was very lean. Not a lot of... Not a lot of muscle on that. Mm -mm. Not a lot of meat on there, actually. Mm -mm. Bones are still nice and crunchy. Definitely drank his milk. What? Ah, uh, is 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 milk? Yeah. What? 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 His bones were strong, so they made a nice crunch. Therefore, he must have been drinking his milk. Okay. Because I thought you said you drank his milk. No. Okay. No, God, okay. no. Okay. Is hey, 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 didn't Matt. even, didn't even hey, know Matthew. him like that. He's hey. just lunch. Matthew, did you notice any strange characters around the manor at the time of the incident? Not a soul, I'm afraid. I, I didn't even know about Master Simon until Inspector Chelmy showed up. It was Matthew. And where is Simon's body now? I didn't see this, but I was told that the inspector carried the body out shortly after arriving. I see. Well, it looks like for the moment we are without a lead on this case. Ah, uh, but you know, I found this in the room where Master Simon's body was discovered. What is this? Communist puzzle solvers, I see! I'm sorry to say, I have no idea. When I thought it might be a clue, so I made sure to hold on to it. Amazing. It's a cog so small that one could search the room and miss it. Look, it has an engraving. Dropped cogs? A small cog? Now that you mention it, I know a puzzle about an object that almost fits that description. What? Are you joking? A puzzle at a time like this? A man's dead! Yes, it's the perfect time to solve the puzzle. Find the dot. You are holding an eight-pointed shape with a red dot on it. If you hold the shape so that the red dot is in the position shown in diagram A, and flip it over, you'll see a black dot as depicted below. Now assume you are holding the shape as shown on the left side of diagram B. Where will the black dot be when you flip the shape over? Okay, so we'll... So if it's here... Then the black dot is right there, right now? No, 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 no. Yeah. It's here. One, two. No, look, because if you're flipping it over, then the black dot is on the right right now. But so no, look at the position where this is. One, two. See? You're simply turning it to the other face. So it's two to the left. Therefore, the black. Therefore, the black dot one, two should be here. No, that. Wait. There we go. What? Mm hmm. Frankly, I'm ashamed. Okay. So, if you're flipping it over and it's yes. there, yes. So it has to start here, because if you flip it over, then it'll show on there, right? Where? So then, it's right here. So then, if you flip it over.
wouldn't it be here? Boom. I oh, thought I had that. The key to Critical success. thinking is the key to success. Well, you're gonna have to go back and redo that. Yep. Sorry. My apologies, but I'm afraid I don't know anything that would aid your investigation. Not at all. This small gear is more than enough for us to go on. But I do wonder why you're giving this to us. I believe you are a good man, Professor. I'm confident you will put the whole of this puzzle together. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Matthew. Gizmo! It's the other leg! Tell me. Great! This guy. Is everyone who was present at the site of the crime? I believe we are missing Ramon, sir. Ramon? Where is he and what on earth is he doing? Matthew, fetch Ramon at once. To be honest, madam, thinking on it, I've not seen Raymond for a few hours now. What? Don't tell me he was taken as well. No, hold on a minute. No, hold on a moment. He's a suspect, too. Perhaps he fled the scene of this crime. Where could he be at a time like this? What if the murderer got Raymond, too? Who's Raymond? Big Lip. Oh. Wait, don't look. Yes, Professor? Where did Lady Dahlia go? I believe Madame has retired to the adjoining room to relax on her own. She's a strong woman, but it's only natural she'd need to rest after a terrible event like this. Very well then. Would you please let her know that I have something I'd like to talk to her about? But of course, Professor. Please wait here. Lady Dahlia might act like a nice queen, but I guess even she is shaken by today's events. Luke. If you wish to ever become a true gentleman, you'll need to start showing a little more sensitivity. Oh, of course, Professor. I apologize. It, that was wrong of me. Madam will see you now. Just head back through that doorway on the left. First off. God! Poor oh, Sharpen. Perfect right here. Absolutely devastated by this. Oh, and there's where they said you want me to turn to a burger. I'm not making this up, I swear. I know that picture has to be one. Oh, no, never mind. There we go. Lady Dahlia, I have a deep suspicion this murder is connected to the mystery of the Golden Apple. What? It's too early to say for sure, but I think that it's highly probable the two matters are linked. And you think that Raymond is somehow involved in all this? Potentially, yes. However, as of yet, we don't have enough information to draw any solid conclusions. I see. If that's the case, I have a request for you, Professor. Find Raymond and bring him back here to me. It sickens me that I am being considered a suspect in this brutal crime. I must prove my innocence at once. As you wish, Lady Dahlia. We will ask around town to see what we can find. I appreciate your help, Professor. Well then, I'll be awaiting the good news in the parlor. Chapter 3, The Missing Servant. Oh, yeah, the that, man with the goth lipstick. That man. Save your progress yet? Wait. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm? Beep, oh. 
Oh, we know that lady. Look at this picture. What is it, Professor? Oh, it's a little that lady, Dahlia. She's holding a baby. That baby must be Baron Reinhold's daughter, then. Laura was her name, wasn't it? Gosh, what a cute baby. Lady Dahlia hasn't changed much, has she? You know, Luke, they say true beauty never ages. I suppose so, Professor. But even so, it makes me wonder, maybe we can ask Lady Dahlia about it. About how she doesn't age? Pardon me, but we happened upon an adorable picture of you and your daughter Flora a moment ago. I beg your pardon? The picture of you holding a baby. The one that sits in the next room. I'm sorry, but you must be mistaken. I've never had any children. <laughs> Flora's gonna be the golden apple, ain't she? What makes you say that? What makes you say that? It's a strong hunch. Find the daughter, you get the rich. My apologies, madam. I must have been mistaken. At any rate, time is of the essence here. Go find Raymond and bring him back, would you? That was Lady Dahlia in the photograph. And who on earth could it be? It was a mistress. I think we do well to ask the butler a few questions. Perhaps he can clear this up for us. Pardon away, Mr. Lighton. I heard you're something of a puzzle connoisseur. This puzzle was popular in London when I left. I wonder if you have the gall to take it on. Five suspects. Oh no. Five suspects are called into police headquarters for questioning. They give the following statements. One of the five of us is lying. Two of the five of us are lying. I know these guys and three of the five of us are lying. Don't listen to a word they say. Out of the five of us, four of us are lying. All five of us are dirty, rotten liars. The police only want to release the suspects who are telling the truth. How many people should they let go? Okay, so... E cannot be telling the truth. Because if all five are lying, then... Then she'd be lying as well. D says... Uh, four out of the five are lying. So he could be right. C says three out of five are lying. Wait a minute. No matter what, shouldn't it only be one? Yes. So it's D. Sure. my answer ah Critical okay is the key I know definitely there's way more of those though so that's right every suspect accused a different number of people if anyone was telling the truth it had to be one suspect no more or less mm. congratulations D looks like built Brock <laughs> I suppose I should have given you a tougher puzzle yourself You'd do best to put that brain of yours to find the golden apple everyone is a buzz about. Gizmo. Foot. Yay! Why are we building a robot dog? Is it a tool to help us later? It's a surprise Talk to Matthew. Tool. Talk to Matthew. Talk to Matthew. It's a surprise tool that will help us later. Ah, uh, Matthew, do you have a moment? Certainly, sir. How can I help you? It's about the picture of Lady Dahlia upstairs, the one of her holding a small child. Ah, uh, yes. About that old picture. That's not Lady Dahlia, I'm afraid. It's a picture of Baron Reinhold's former wife. But I certainly understand why you would mistake one for the other. They were virtually identical in their appearance, their gesture, and even in the way they moved. So that photo isn't of Lady Dolly, but of an earlier wife of the Baron. Wow, imagine finding someone who looks that much like you, 
What are the odds? Non-existent. Identical twin sisters. Is there a chance the two are relatives of one another? I've never heard anything to suggest as much, sir. It just happened one day. The Baron arrived home, and at his side was Lady Dahlia. I'm sorry to say that's all I really know about the matter. Not at all. You've been most helpful. Thank you, Matthew. How odd. The more I hear, the stranger this whole affair starts to sound. Hmm. Cat! With something for us? That's Vector's glasses! Hmm? These are... They're Simon's glasses! But how on earth did they end up here? This could be a key clue in the investigation. I think it best if we brought this to Inspector Chelmy. Was it that shady dude whose car broke down who killed them? You know, I'll just say it, yeah. Oh. I can only tell you this because we won't see him, like, until the ending. What's the matter, Mr. Mayton? Inspector, take a look at these. These glasses belong to Simon. We found them out in the garden. What the? I imagine they simply fell off the body when it was being carried out of the village. Besides, if you had enough time to manage to, if you had enough time to match the whole village lost and found, so you be searching for the right home inheritance or whatever it is you're supposed to be doing. Or simply to interrupt, interrupt my investigation, I have some ideas about what to do with you. My sincerest apologies, Inspector. I don't like that clammy one bit. Clemmy? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. He reeks of smoke and he's so full of himself. The way he treats you, Professor, it's just too much. Luke, my boy, pay it no mind. Right now we have other priorities. Let's go around, ask around town, and find Raymond. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, 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 bing. You're not going to search for more coins? We got it. What is she pointing at? You. Were you? Angus? Look at you fettering away there. What's the matter? Sorry to trouble you, but did you see Raymond around here today? He was here until just a while ago. Oh, I can't say I have seen him today. Which is strange, considering how often he sneaks off the job. But enough of that. I hear you're quite the ace with puzzles. <laughs> I want. Would you mind helping me out with a puzzle I've been mulling over? Oh, right now we're sort of in the middle of something right now. But if you insist. Oh, you, you tease. One line puzzle. Have you heard of one line puzzles? The idea is to place your pen to paper and draw a shape without lifting your pen from the pad or retracing any part of the line. You can, however, cross lines. Now that you're familiar with the concept, look at the four pictures below. One of them cannot be drawn with one line. Okay, well... Only one? Mm-hmm.
Am I stupid? I think it has to be the house. I think I think it's the house. I think it's a car. You can't retract any lines. No, sorry, retrace. With you, without lifting your pen or retracing any part of the line, you can, however, cross lines. What does that mean? No, you can do the car. There we go. Yes, it is the house. Okay, let's see this. Another puzzle solved. Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yes. Then... Okay. I didn't understand what they meant when they said cross lines. That makes sense. Okay. Cross. Because wouldn't that wouldn't that be tracing over? A no, part that's of crossing a line. Mm. And some fine work in that. I was stuck on this puzzle for I don't know how long. I don't know many things anymore. Oh. What is my name again? Agnes. Oh, hello. Aren't you such a dad for a man? What's your name? Agnes. I'm you. We're stuck in Black Mirror. Where am I? Your mother. You haven't come out of the womb yet. What? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah, you there, boy. I just had a terrible version of you running into trouble tonight. Be careful out there, alright. Well, that was a welcome piece of news. But don't worry about me, because I don't scare easily. Leg. Look, my boy, you were scared by a floating piece of paper just the other day. It touched me! That man. This man. <clears throat> More cool. Hey, you two. What's up? What you up to? Uh, let me on my secret. I got it. I got it. Don't tell me. I told you I got it. Out searching for somebody, huh? Setting, hitting the streets for info. Yeah. Sorry, I ain't seen your man. Are you sure you didn't see or hear anything that might help us? No, 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 I got nothing for you. Quit asking me about it. Shh. I see. Well, in any case, thank you for your time. Oh, yeah, good luck with your crazy search. Do crazy kid on crazy search, right? Right. But definitely do not go poking around the tower on the north side of town. Got it? Yeah, you got it. The tower in the north of town? How'd you even get to that part of town? Do you remember that clock tower in the square? I believe we must pass through it to get to the north side of town. Let's go check it out. Yo, daddy, yo, I just told you not to. That's the clock tower you're talking about, right, Professor? Yes, quite right. Someone's standing under the entrance. The weird-ass deke. Ah, what the heck was that sound? Oh, I have just had it! Would someone please stop that awful racket? What's the matter, sir? Who are you calling, sir? I'm a young man. Nah, but never mind that, I'm furious. That sound, that horrible noise, I can't get a wink of sleep at night. Used to be the tower only made noise every once in a while, but recently it's been roaring non-stop. How am I supposed to sleep? You hear me, you big jerk of a tower? How am I supposed to sleep? Please, calm yourself, sir. Do 
you have any idea what the source of that deafening din is? Sir, please contain the calamity that is your memories. You know, now that you mention it, I don't have the slightest clue about that. I've heard it's the roar of a huge monster that lives up in the tower, but who knows? So the noise is coming from the tower, is it? Ha 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 ha! That guy so hot. Flick. Ah, yes. Oh, is, it, is it time? Ah, oh, it's not time yet. Hey there, gents. I'm looking for something again. We're caught out here. To, we are caught out the same as there to locate the golden apple. We came all the way from London. We keep getting sidetracked by unrelated matters. We haven't made any progress on our investigation. Uh, sorry to hear things aren't going smoothly. Well, you like puzzles, don't you? You fit, you fit in right here. I'm breaking a sweat here trying to keep things together. Would you mind helping me out with a problem? I have some milk I need to divvy up, but my measuring cup seems to have grown legs and walked away. Ow. Oh. Do you have any ideas how I might get myself out of this little pickle? Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! So, ten and seven need to hold five. Put three into seven. Put four into three. Get three into ten. No. Wait, no, didn't we just do that? Restart. Somewhere. Try putting two into ten. Or, sorry, three to ten. Seven to three. Three to ten. Thank you. 
how the hell did I do that? There we go. I literally... <laughs> I was just doing shit. <laughs> Save the day! Where the thousand? Good night. Not the shortest requires nine. Thanks a bunch. Now I can finally start on those scones. Must be some way I can return the favor. Well, let's be in a restaurant and all come by and eat whatever you like. It's on the house. Damn, really? Mm. All right, and then we put the little. He's coming together. We almost have the entire dog. The entire boy. And I think with that, we'll end it there. All right. I've been playing one. I've been playing two. We'll see you next time when we check out the north side of town. Yes. Bye bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>